All right, guys, so I have a quick update to share with you. Uh, we are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigeria. All right, uh, greetings to you wherever you are. So I have a quick update to share with you, still connected to uh, the nationwide strike that happened on the 3rd of June, 2024. I mean, a few days ago. Of course, we uh, remember that Nigeria was on a, a lockdown. And then I am trying to imagine if Nigeria is moving forward or Nigeria is moving backward. Yes. Now, what is the latest development? Following the recent uh, nationwide strike by the NLC and TUC, guess what? The Senate President, Goswila Pabio, has initiated a motion to make industrial action illegal, citing the need to prevent economic sabotage. Can you imagine? Just look at it. You understand? So just like I said, the NOC June third strike um, directly have responded to the federal government refusal to conclude the national minimum wage negotiation and also to reverse electricity tariff hike and uh, demand an end to uh, the consumer clarifications according to the NOC statement, uh, which they pre uh, presented to the federal government, one of their demands uh, is to reverse back the hike in electricity. So in response to the strike, Akpabio has threatened to introduce new provisions in the forthcoming minimum wage law to address what he perceives as extreme actions to sabotage the economy by the NLC and the TUC. So Akpabio emphasized that the shutdown of the national grid during the NSC strike was more an act of sabotage than a form uh, of agitation. He also condemned the disruption of hatch flights uh, caused by the shutdown of the international airport. All right, so that is the latest um, update I have for you. I'm just trying to imagine if this is the Nigeria um, our children will come and meet. I mean, I really do not understand. So the upper legislative chamber has disclosed that such a situation will not be allowed to occur again as law against it will be amended in the soon to be enacted new national minimum wage act. But however, the NOC has uh, rejected Akbabio's recent remark that the indefinite nationwide strike on uh, Tuesday by the NLC and TUC okay, constituted economic sabotage. He described such accusation as baseless and deeply troubling uh, for patriot and democracy advocate, reaffirming its unwavering commitment to the right of Nigerian worker. I mean, just because Nigerians or Nigerian worker is demanding for increment in salary because of uh, you know, economic uh, situation. Even as I am talking to you right now, I was at home uh, when the, they brought a letter to me. And when I opened it, it was from my landlord. You understand? It was from my landlord. When I opened the letter, the rent, my house rent has been increased. Now, in that letter, when my landlord sent to me, uh, it read that due to economic situation, I don't know if you guys understand. Yes. The man didn't just sit down and, you know, think of increasing house rent. He specifically stated in that letter that it is due to economic situation. And the man have decided to increase the rent. So if the workers, okay, just imagine 60,000. Now, almost literally all the landlord, most of them uh, that do not have conscience or most of them that is using their premises as business, their sole business. Of course, they have the right to, you know, increase their house rent. That is their property. They are making money from it. They have the right to do so. So I am not complaining. You understand? Now, imagine literally almost all the landlord, they will be increasing their rent. And the workers are being offered 60,000 naira. Which one will they remove there to pay rent? Which one will they... Couples looking at the economic situation, you understand? High cost of commodity, hardship. Things are hard. Things are expensive. 
a family of even the sixty thousand naira cannot even buy one bag of rice. And a family of three, believe me, one bag of rice literally I is uh, maybe three weeks if it is not taken. You understand? So this is what we are talking about. So literally, even landlords themselves, they are increasing house rent. And the workers, are they paying house rent with that same 60000 What these people demand is increment in the, you know, their salary. This is not, this is no start today. They have, you know, echoed this thing long time ago. This thing do not favor us. Do something about, of course, it is their right. Even the Femi Falana has confirmed that workers have the right to ask for increase in salary. As simple as that. They have the right to ask. So they didn't do nothing. So if they ask for increment in salary and the government is using them to do a, you understand, ping pong, tell me it's so, so painful. Nobody will sit down. Nobody will wake up and, you know, carry placard or, or you know, uh, embark on industrial strike. This thing has been there for quite some time. This is the same thing they did to ASU. Yes. Okay, what would they talk about the one of ASU? ASU said the condition of a uh, public university is not good again. Let the government come in, do something about it. People now, uh, you, you understand, embark on the private university. And it is not everybody that, uh, you know, that can afford private university. Except the uh, children of politician, top business mogul. Private university pay station. There are some universities that pay as much as a million naira, 1.5 million naira for school fee. Pay session. Pay session. School fee. Now you look at the Nigerian workers, civil servant. Which of the acute, which of the civil servant will afford with 60,000 naira? Will afford to send their children to even public university, not to even talk of private university. Now, when I should came, I should say, okay, government. This is it. Public university is going down. You understand? Do something about it. When ASU embark on strike, they now consider bringing another union. I've forgotten that union. They now consider bringing in another union. Because ASU say, okay, fine, we are on strike. Even when they threaten ASU, uh, no strike, no work, no pay. And then the main business that they didn't go, nobody will wake up and embark on strike. No union will just sit down, wake up, and embark on industrial strike. That is just the thing. So now Nigerian workers embark on strike. You understand? Because this thing has been on the table of federal government since, uh, I think, Boris Teno. It has been there. Every day negotiation, they will postpone it. Sometimes the uh, NOC will threaten strike. They will call off the strike. They will threaten strike. They will call off until people no longer you know, believe in the Joe Ajiro again, NLC uh, chairman. Nope. People no longer have trust in him. So why is industrial strike, you understand, become economic sabotage? Of course, the only language government understand is strike because they know how much they lose daily. That is why they anything strike, they are usually not comfortable. Government lose a lot of money. Each day, Nigerian do not work, especially on strike. Not even talking about public holiday. You understand. So why is a nationwide strike now economic sabotage? Why? How come? I really do not understand. So that is what Akbar built. And then I am thinking, is this the people Nigerian voted into government? And now they will uh, politi uh, politicize it. They will say, yeah, it is from opposition. And the first person they will mention name will be uh, Peter Obi. Of course, they are already saying it that because Labour Party did not win the 2023 election. That That is the reason why they are doing all this and so on. No, that's what they are saying. That it is economics. How is it economic sabotage for crying out loud? Because people are demanding. 
demanding for pay rise because of the nature of the economy. I see even my my uh, my landlord is a is a rich man, is a wealthy man. He's a U.S. citizen. He stays in Nigeria six months. He stays in uh, U.S. for six months. You understand? But he still increased the house rent, and he directly stated it that due to economic situation. And then I have to understand. So now, um, literally, almost all the landlord and workers are demanding for pay increase, and you call it economic sabotage. It doesn't make sense to me at all. However, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.